Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. Today we are going to go check out the uh, Pacific Science Center. Yeah, so come get lost with us in some science. Check out those arches. We're here at the uh, Pacific Science Center over here in Seattle Center. <laughs> Seattle Center, which is also where you can find the Museum of Pop Culture and the Space Needle. Yeah, if you want to see our Space Needle video, video <laughs> check so that cool. out in the uh, upper right hand corner. All right, let's get this party started. Look, check out the dinosaurs. They're all green from the water. Another view of the green dinosaurs. And then check out these arches from close up. These are massive and they also have like lights on them, it looks like. And check that one out. And there's good old spacey. And there's the space needle. Some other water sculptures, I guess they're not working today, or maybe those are wind. Let's know in the comments below. I'm guessing they're water because there's one right there that's working. That's some water work. There's a duck and some turtles. And uh, we're going to try and figure out where we get in. <laughs> so, stay tuned. There's another view of those archways. They are so cool. In case you guys are interested in tagging along with us, you can scan this map. And physical maps are only available upon request. Cause... So it looks like when it actually will actually get warmer out here, they'll have like a nice garden, but it is frigid February currently. So nothing's blooming, but definitely check this place out when uh, spring arrives, because I'm sure there will be something pretty to see instead of dead plants. In case you want to make some suggestions to the museum, this is where you can do it. Unrecycled cardboard and paper. All right, so this is like the sound room. So there's a lot of like hands-on exhibits where you can just kind of mess with a bunch of stuff so if you're a little person you'll probably really like this room <laughs> okay so this is called a theremin you just get kind of close to it as crazy as that is it was a weird instrument i will tell you that so weird Fascinating. She got to work though. Uh, people use these with like meditation and stuff. Any idea why they used a cat as the representative here? I'm not doing this. Try the whisper dish. So apparently you're supposed to whisper into this, and then your partner is supposed to listen into the little circle thing. Ooh, that's bad lighting, but uh, we're trying the whisper disc. You ready? Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, you ready for me? Oh yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. This is pretty weird. She's like over there, hold on. Let me pan. She's over there, sitting there, and I can hear her like she's almost like right next to me. Hell, I can hear myself too. Yeah. I can hear you like perfectly. This is crazy. I'm talking really, really quietly. Me too. Like so quietly. So quietly. It's so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty neat. It was awesome. 
All right, so here's the whisper dishes, just so you can see what it looks like from the outside when we're not sitting at it. I know that was poor lighting when I was filming it, but and there's the other one in the distance. Yeah. Now, how good. are you doing it wrong? <laughs> I thought I had to put my ear to this. So someone can't read directions, is what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> I never read the instructions. I just assume I automatically know how to do it. The personal flaw, see? It's a personal flaw of mine. It is what it is, though. Yeah, she struggles with her microphone. All right, let's continue the museum tour. That's basically how they made 3D TVs work right there. Like the... But you can't really find a 3D TV anymore right now, I feel like. Yeah, we did used to have its 3D TV. We did, and then we got rid of it. Well, it stopped working, but yes. And that is good. I remember I watched, I watched Spy Kids 3D, and it was like the dual colors back in the day. Yeah, I was a Spy Kids fan. I also remember like in comic books and stuff, they used to give the red and blue glasses to see it in like 3D. Mm -hmm. Let's know in those comments if you saw Spy Kids or used to read the comics. Yeah, that was how every 3D movie was like back in the day when we were younger. They'd give you the glasses. So this just has a bunch of different displays in this first area that we're kind of going through. A bunch of 3D stuff, the impossible triangle, 3D vision test, and then some music stuff too. Interesting. So what did you see in the impossible triangle? You, you look at that and then it becomes a triangle. So when you step away, you don't see it. But when you look through the special, special lens, it looks like a completed triangle. So this was the building when we were on the, the space needle that had the yeah. spiders, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Which you can't see in the camera, but if you're actually there, you can actually see there's spiders on the roof. Let's, let's see if we, we can were show like, I wonder what that is. What's that one? Check it out, it shows a triangle. But a if you triangle? look, not a triangle. It's a triangle. a triangle. It's like you gotta get the exact right angle. And also, I'm really happy the little humans decided to leave. Yes, we did just get surrounded by little people. But here's the rest of the area. There's the sound area that we just came from. This piano is terribly out of tune. Well, that one button's not even working. Yeah. Macy trying to show her piano skills did not work. Yeah, that, that piano is very out of... Well, it actually tells you, too. It says it's untreated hammers and, like, different... It's, oh, it's that a, makes sense. So you get different tunes. Piano. So you get to see the different types of pianos. Ah, oh, makes sense. Okay. Fascinating. <laughs> Some of them get stuck, if you notice. Good job. I'm not even going to try. She quit as soon as I hit the camera. <laughs> she didn't want to show everybody her impressive No, it's been a game. very long time since I've played a piano, and I don't remember. Although I am thinking about buying one. Where to next? Looks like Tinker Tank Masterpiece. Yeah, because that's space. the IMAX. Yeah. We were in musical science? Yeah. But what was the 3D stuff? That's not musical. Just to fill the space. <laughs> There's it only so much music they have, everybody. The space. The space. Okay, so this is like tactile. Now check this out. It says, is this butterfly blue? Does it look blue in the camera? It does look blue in the camera. But it is not. It is white. Actually, it's kind of like gray. Well, in the camera it looks white. Yeah, so it's kind of like a grayish white. That's not it. It is a nano phenomena. The iridescent colors of some butterflies and the sticky feet of the geckos are both caused by tiny nanostructures. Interesting. Hey, you're just dead stop. Like, nope. All right, so this is supposed to be the difference between static and gravity. So the static sticks 
and the gravity balls fall. That's not what I've been told. <laughs> Remember guys. Size makes a difference. So this exhibit is just showing like the size of different magnets and how much they can actually like pull. Fascinating. It's like those uh, things with the dude's face that you drew on with the pen mm -hmm. back in the day. Yeah, you put like the, mu the mustache or like yeah. the full beard and like the hair, make him a bald man. That was our sides, kids. Yeah, that was our sides. We didn't get this. <laughs> get this fanciness. <laughs> All right, so we're kind of in this big area that has like a bunch of little like exhibits that you can check out, but there's a lot of little people in here. So I'm gonna just kind of show it in little Burt's so that we don't get the little peoples on camera. But uh, this one's just like telling you how a pulley system works. And there's different types. There's a single, a double, and one that's got four. So it's basically like lighter as you get more pulleys in it, even though it's the same way. It's easier Fast. to pull. You should know that working in construction. It's called leverage, folks. I wasn't really sure that this is, I thought leverage was something else. Which one was the hardest? Large force to go a short distance. So the longer of the stick, but the easier it is. Never mind, correction, it's this. Yes, the triangle it's this. matters. Again, Nacy is not reading the boards, so. I was a fun kid to have in school. I never read yeah. the instructions. <laughs> it says create chaos. Nacy just touched it. Who likes fun houses? Everyone likes fun houses, especially when they have clowns. Not me. All right, I'm upside down, y'all. Yeah. Upside down. How about that? That's how they make fun house mirrors. We got like distorted bodies. Kind of looks like skin almost on my arm there. Oh, Look know. at how short our legs are. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oompa loompa doompa dee dee. If you are wise, you listen to me. Gary doesn't want to copyright. I <laughs> <laughs> won't copyright my voice. I'm not in any actual Oompa Loompa songs. But like we look so little. Look at how this, we're, look at how little you look. I look tiny. You're so tiny. I mean, I already look tiny, but. Big people, little world. <laughs> okay, so I, everything kind of calmed down a little bit in here. So like this is just kind of like this big open area with like a bunch of different stuff to touch and play with. Interesting little structure. Lots of like interesting sculptures. Kind of makes me think of the botanical garden in Phoenix with those weird yeah. sculptures. All right, so we just walked into another big room. So we're just gonna kind of go around and explore all the exhibits that they have in here. It's another like nice, big, interactive room with like a bunch of different stuff to touch and explore. Hottest. kind of talks about how the hotter the star, the brighter it burns. And then they burn out. And they're gone. They're no longer with us. Did y'all ever see that movie with Matt Damon? Where he grew potatoes in Mars? This is, this is a space garden right here. This is how you grow food in space. A lot of UV light. 
here you can grow other things with UV lights. I have heard that as well. Good things, children. Good things. Okay, so this makes me think of those coin things that would be yes. at the mall that you would like throw your coins on and watch them spin, but basically, it's just supposed to kind of show like orbitational tools here. Neptune, Uranus, because Pluto is no longer a planet. Uranus, Saturn, Saturn Jupiter, Jupiter, the asteroid belt. Just little rocks in there. Mars. It's so tiny. Third, welcome to Earth. Third rock from the sun. Anybody ever watch that show? Venus, DeMilo, and Mercury. It's sad Pluto is not included anymore. I know. They said, when did, what was like, it's probably been like, what, 10, 15 years since they declassified Pluto as a planet? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Look at this NASA spacecraft. They have a mock up of. <sighs> Macy could have been an astronaut. Means it can't fit further back. <laughs> this is made for little people. I have attracted five, the children. Four, three, two, one, zero. It's really shaking, guys. It's really shaking. Maybe we should make it like a Star Trek episode. Oh gosh, it's so shaky. There's even like a little window here. See if I can. Oh no, it just it just looks out. Never mind. It just looks out. I think that up there is the model of the International Space Station. Yeah, yeah, I think so. That's kind of cool. NASA. Ah, so there's Everett over there. We've been there. Check out those videos. Seattle, Tacoma. Nace was just there not too long ago. And then we get some augmented reality, so you can see where the glaciers used to be. <laughs> Global warming, folks. That's actually from the Ice Age, but sure. Global warming. It's, it's not what that means. So because of earthquakes, this is the distance that the Pacific Beach has moved. It's kind of a neat display. And this is for tracking earthquakes. And there's a picture of this as well. It's a pretty cool exhibit with a big old tree. Look at the massiveness of it. It's cut in 62, and it shows it the different rings, what different things that happened. There's the Declaration of Independence ring. Cool. Landing of the Pilgrims. Oh, look at that, they cracked the tree. Good old Pilgrims, always breaking shit. Yeah, and then like if you look down here, you can see the, the rings. Pretty cool. So they do have a dinosaur exhibit. There's Nacia studying the dinos. Stuff over here. So according to these scientists, based on their computer models, they're saying the T-Rex couldn't run. What do you have to say about that Jurassic Park? A little hands glitching. What do you think? T Rex run? No? No. I think they had a large uh, walk space, but I don't think they ran. Check out the T Rex tooth. And then they have a Triceratops tooth. Fancy. Check out some of the dinos, too. I like this guy. I don't know why. I just think he's kind of cool. He's a pack. Pachycephalosaurus. What Nancy said. And they got the Triceratops. They say that the horns and the skull thing were more for mating than it was for actual protection or anything. Fascinating. And then the goofy guy over there. So now we've ventured into the butterfly exhibit. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, there is one, yeah. 
good catch. And here's what the whole area looks like. It's kind of small. It's a little warm. There's some flying at the top too. Fancy. Not very big. Let's see what we can find. The eerie humidity. Oh, there's Dark Lord right there. Oh, oh, oh there, there. Right right there. Look at that. He's getting it on with that. He's getting it on. Look at him. He's getting it on. Get you some. Get you some. Get you some. They smell with their feet, everybody. These are actually alive, just so you know. They're just eating. Those are pretty blue ones back there. Yeah, when he opens his wings, yeah. I'm a beautiful butterfly. A beautiful butterfly. All the way in the back here, there's a giant chessboard. And what looks to be like maybe checkers. And then a pavilion to like go eat at if you're with like our group. And then back here is the laser dome. If you're interested in checking that out. That's gonna be, you're gonna find that exhibit all the way in the back, back here. Doing my duty. All right, here's another view of the uh, waterworks out here. And to the right, we have the main part of the museum. Straight ahead are these arches. And then to the left is going to be the IMAX theater. And that's going to do it. All right, so over here in the armory, that's kind of like between the Science Center and the Space Needle, there's all these restaurants. We're gonna maybe pop in there and just kind of glance. It looks like it's like a food court, like cafeteria. Yeah. All right, so yeah, it's like a nice, like big open area with a bunch of restaurants. This is also where you take the monorail. And then if you're a fan of the Seattle Kraken, you can uh, buy some merch here. The clock. Yeah, it's very train station-esque. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's kind of like a, a map of the whole area. So this is where we were at the Pacific Science Center. Uh, there's the Children's Theater. Here's the Armory where we're at currently. And then it looks like there's a mall over here, interesting enough. There's a stadium. The Museum of Pop Culture. Beast Needle. And then way over here, it looks like there's a bunch of like theaters too, if you're into that kind of stuff. Yeah, very interesting. So on top of the uh, Pacific Science Center, there's also the Seattle Children's Museum. And it is located inside here, inside the armory. So if that sounds like something you and your family is interested in doing, you can get to it over here.
we don't have little people, so we probably won't be going to this museum. But if you guys ever want us to, leave us a comment below. And there's the QR code if you guys want to check out the museum. So this is the armory. This is where all that food was that we showed you a second ago. Apparently it was erected in 1939, and it was basically their public work building and military department. Fascinating. So that was kind of interesting. The museum itself actually made me think of a museum that I went to a lot when I was a kid, which was called the Imaginarium in Fort Myers. Uh, it was in North Fort Myers. It's closed now, but yeah, it definitely does. It's a nice family uh, setting. A nice place to go, but be warned, as an adult, there are a lot of kids here. A lot of little people. Um, but if you got little people and you're looking for something fun to do in Seattle, this is definitely something to do. Head up. It was not that expensive. They do have an IMAX theater show, a laser show, a planetarium, all of which we're not going to stick around to wait for because it's not till like 1.30 and we're hungry. So. Yeah, so a legit tip, if you want to see those shows, you need to come. They start about 1.30 and then they only have like two showings of each. Yeah. So get here around noon figure out what shows you want. They are free, but you do have to let them know at the beginning that you want to see those shows. Uh, there is parking kind of like all around, so you do kind of have to walk, but it's right by the Space Needle and a few of the other things that are right down here. Yeah, we had planned on going to the Museum of Modern Pop, Pop Culture. Culture, mm -hmm. yeah. No, the Museum of Pop Culture, there we go, uh, this morning, but we ended up coming here because- It was closed on Wednesdays. Legit tip, it is closed on Wednesdays. So we might go back tomorrow, which just kind of depends on how today plans out, but yeah. It was a fun alternative, it was interesting, and uh, we burned a couple hours. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell so you get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth.